This will be a daily series. Hey, so before we get this party started, I'd like to seriously advise for your discretion, specifically for those who are mentally and psychologically fragile, as this might push the boundary a little too far. For those who've already seen this, try not to spoil it for others in the comments. If I see it, you'll be receiving a warning and I'll delete the comment. If it happens again, then you'll be blocked. All right, with that being said, let's get the goddamn party started, you know what I'm saying? This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Are y'all serious? So what's up guys, my name is J Code, and welcome back to Let's Play. Today, we're gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. This game has been requested by quite a few of you and usually I do my research and try to figure out what the general idea of a game is before I go into it, but y'all strongly suggested that I go into this completely blind. There's been a ton of warnings. Um, deterring me away if I'm faint of heart or if I am easily disturbed or have mental issues going on and all that whatnot okay so pretty much if you don't have balls you can't play this game I'm not understanding why but today's the day we're gonna find out so now we're gonna jump right into it I still don't understand what this game is going to be about please enter your name we're gonna be named the young Shui. Oh yeah. I don't know if that's gonna fuck anything up, but we'll see. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of stuff, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yeah, I'm sure we've all had friends like that. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. Okay, but if she keeps going to chase after me like this, but, she, but if she's going to keep chasing after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Okay, however, I just side idle in front of the crosswalk and let Soyori catch up to me. Oh hey, is this Soyori? She says, hey, hey. <laughs> I overslept again. Okay. But I caught you this time. The young swag. So I'm the young Okay, so that's me talking. Alright. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Shouty. Yeah, we're gonna add our own twist on the goddamn thing, you know. <laughs> Sayori. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> That's mean, the young swag. Shit, hey, what can a young swag do out here? Shit. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Yeah, so get the fuck. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. I don't know. Whatever you say, Sayori. Say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Sayori, by the way, young swag, <laughs> have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Shit, the only club I'm in, goddamn, is the goddamn shit, my high club. I told you already, I'm, all, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? Did I? I'm sure it was possible that I did in one of my many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Mm, sounds like me in real life. Sayori likes to worry about a little too much. She likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time uh, on games and anime. Hey, yeah, that sounds like that sounds like your boy. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or or have any skills before college. Okay, so we're in high school. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Oh, isn't that sweet? And you know you're happy now, and I know you're happy now. But I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? What the fuck is a neat? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Girl, that's just this is your fault, man. I'm chilling. I'm I'm big thugging. All right, all right. I'll look at <clears throat> a few clubs if it makes you happy. Jeez, okay. God damn, man. No promises though. Well, you at least promise that you'll that you'll try a little. 
Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured into such a carefree girl? I don't know, man. You tripping. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Oh my god. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least. But even if she does exaggerate everything, in, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head, okay? It's a lot of reading going on. Um, there's a lot of reading. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly into the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. <laughs> Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Soriori? Sorry I must have come into the classroom while spacing out. <laughs> I look around and realize that I am the only one left in class. Wow, James, you're really spacing out. I thought I'd catch you coming out of classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> You don't even- <clears throat> You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know what? She gonna- she's- I, I, let me call it. She's gonna invite me to her club. She's gonna invite me to her club. I'm gonna call it. Well, that you can come to my club. Oh my god, I'm a freaking genius! Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. That's big facts. Ain't no way I'm going to your goddamn club. Shit. Eh. Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Per per usual, cause the hints the title. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun and to help start a new club. <laughs> Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature club is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, for real. <clears throat> I can't tell if Soyori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to, <laughs> as to have planned all of this out. Like, why are you such a dick, though? <laughs> this dude's a dick. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> Yay, let's go. <laughs> I'm only in it for the cupcake, and they better be strawberry. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh my god, you need to not be that critical. I dejectedly follow Soyori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Okay. Soyori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Hey, we in it, bit. <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> eh, I glanced around the room. Girl number one, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Soyori always says nice things about you. She, you know, cause she go hard in the paint. Seriously, you bought a boy? <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere. Okay, y'all need to chill out. Ah, the young swag. <laughs> what a nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Shay, appreciate that. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Mmm, they okay. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry, Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Well, I wouldn't think that you'd recognize anybody in there. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You could just ignore her while she gets moody. <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into the uh, Soriori says that quietly into my ear then turns back toward the other girls anyway this is Natsuki always full of energy seem kind of mad to me I don't know about energy and this is Yuri the smartest in the club I'm thinking it's her this is this right here should be Yuri you look like you're smart and quiet Yuri d don't say things like that ah oh, she's shy too Yuri who appears comparable 
who who appears comparably more mature and timid seems to have hard time seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Okay. <clears throat> ah, well it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Who the fuck is Mutt? Hell nah. Who's Monica? That's right. It's great to see you again, young swag. Hey, shit, you know. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, okay. I guess. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely, so genuinely, feels a little... Young Swag. You, you too, Monica? Oh, you, you too, Monica. Okay. See, I'm reading these wrong, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Come sit down, Young Swag. <laughs> Come sit down, Young Swag. <laughs> we've made a room for you at the, we've made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. <clears throat> As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the classroom, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Natsuki lifts the foil off of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. <clears throat> so cute! I had no idea that you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Uh -huh. Well, you are, well, you know, shit, yeah, you already know. <laughs> Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get the icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around and I turn the, cup the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. It's a cupcake, James. What the hell? Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bit down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she's made it herself. This is really good! <laughs> Thank you, Natsuki! <laughs> well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I ha haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> Made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. So Sayori said, Well, maybe. But not for, y you know, you, dummy. <laughs> alright, alright. That was awkward. <laughs> I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I... I guess. <clears throat> Monica. <laughs> <laughs> don't you, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh, is she not? Oh, what? Oh, she trying to impress me and I. <laughs> eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. <laughs> I meant that, you know. <laughs> I believe you. Sure. The young swag. Oh, that's me talking. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica r raises an eyebrow then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Shit, goddamn, uh, Sayori drugged me in it, bit. Shit. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically drugged. <laughs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... <laughs> Monica, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Oh, she knows. She knows. We'll make you. We'll make sure you feel right at home. Okay. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? <laughs> oh, so she's the president. This chick I know from last year. Okay, good. <clears throat> you could probably be the board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh huh. Well, you know. To be honest, 
I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicly and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica's really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't any more people in the club. It must be hard to start a new club. <clears throat> you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort into starting a new club and starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Sheesh. Ooh, it's a lot of goddamn reading. <laughs> Should I put my goddamn glasses on, goddamn bifocals on if I was going to be reading this much? You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm, I'm confident that we all, that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Still, I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, young Sway, what kinds of things do you like to do? Or do you like to read? Shit, my bad. <laughs> uh, well, ah, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Hmm? Okay, okay, good answer. I muttered quietly to myself, half jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N -n not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's Yuri sad smile. Aw, you a punk. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. <clears throat> Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build up, that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. <laughs> she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements. Oh yeah, stories with like this one. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? That was a mouthful. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book. I read a horror book once. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to in the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I would not have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, only if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you? <laughs> What? <laughs> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind uh, behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! <laughs> and give that back! Fine, fine. Eh, your cupcakes, your, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Ah, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no. <laughs> Natsuki's adver Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, <laughs> uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form is writing of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Hmm. Do you have a writing experience too? Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> Aw, I want to read everyone's poems. I bet that this is going to end with everybody having to write something. 
We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki, you look quizzically at <clears throat> at Monica. Let's all go home and write a. Man, I'm too good at the guessing game, bro. I'm too good at the guessing game. If this is a guessing game, bro, we'd be winning. We'd win crazy. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Ho, 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 ho. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Okay. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, young Shui? <laughs> Monica smiles warmingly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're all back in the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly came forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Oh, you're a hoe. <laughs> Sarah may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. Wow. But, but, <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, the young swag. <laughs> you all, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Sure thing. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sawyeri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came in for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment, write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so can so we all can share. Monica looks over at me once more. The young swag, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. <laughs> hey, young swag, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Neat. <laughs> That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed out to school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Okay. With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. <laughs> will, I really be <clears throat> will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Okay, I think I see where this is gonna go. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. So we gotta do some writing. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Um. Okay, so who's our favorite club member? Definitely not Natsuki. Not at all. Let's appeal to Yuri. Cause she seems timid. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt her feelings. Everybody else seems like they can hold their own. So let's do fantasy. We'll go, we'll go, hmm. Disoriented. We'll do, we'll put some death in there <laughs> and we'll, um, put an inferno and then fucking we'll put some fear and some shame some we'll put a little happiness in there but we'll also put some extraordinary horror <laughs> oh my god this is a wacky story um we'll also put mm, we'll put some dark in there we'll put some frightening uh incongruent hair on somebody's uncontrollable fucking tragedy yep and then we'll go with anxiety uh and then we'll give give vivid vivid hope and then we'll put um suicide we're not gonna fuck with that judgment and 
and some pouting. <laughs> and some pouting at the end. Just get mad at the end. Hey, young swag. How you been, young fam? Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> nah, don't worry. <laughs> this might be a little strange for me, but I, at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, young swag. I hope that this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah, come on. Like he deserves any slack. <laughs> oh, we can save this? Let's save. Make sure we save our game real quick just in case something happens. Sayori told me that you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come in here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Matsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Oh my god. That's embarrassing, bitch. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> Manga's literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Young Swag always gives his best as long as he's having fun. <laughs> he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> Sayori. Siri, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. I mean, you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Uh, I might be a little jealous. Uh. How come? You and the young swag could be good friends, too. Um. <laughs> Sayori. Hmm? As usually, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Well, wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. What is it? Never mind. Wow. <laughs> Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry. Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me, it's up to, me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me feel happy. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is is that so? Yeah, I'm gonna make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right, well then here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it'll keep your attention even if you, do, if you don't usually read. <laughs> and we could, you know, Discuss it if you want to. Ugh, you're awkward, huh? You're awkward. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expect I expect that Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Are you now? But at the same time, I really feel bad. I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes and our eyes meet for a split second. It's getting weird. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious how you came to... How, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped in the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Fucking got your ass, man. You, 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 you plotting on a goddamn kid, man. Let me find out you got down plotting. <laughs> There's something fairly obvious. 
There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I mean, it's obvious, man, she's interested, God. Like, quit being pretentious. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. All right. I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from out of nowhere. I feel like that's kind of how this story is going to play out, but I don't know, man. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. We'll see. Haha. <laughs> Yuri gently, gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, young swag? <laughs> no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri is into those things. I didn't. That's what we based our first, like, piece of literature on, so. She's so shy. She sh she's there. She's so, so see, she's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind's to be seems to be so be, seems to be completely different. Damn, that fucked me up. <laughs> oh, that's what this game is about. Ah, tongue twisters. Ah. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a different new perspective, from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil but because they have their own goals and their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize, young cuz. I haven't lost interest or anything. Shit, I'm still here. Shit, we with it? <laughs> well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please, stop me if I'm starting to talk- if I'm talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You- you don't have to! Uh-huh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. Quickly, I quickly retrieved the book and had to put it into my bag. That I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? <laughs> I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. This is reading in company with someone. All right, that is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Ah, uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand that Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Oh my god, man. This, this fucking, this is us. It's... It's cringy. <laughs> Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I didn't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Should I make you nervous, huh? Do I make you nervous? Should I make you nervous, huh? <laughs> Here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we, 
Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm and on the right side of the book. Like, this is so detailed, like it's giving you a vivid picture. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. By holding it like this, but in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that if that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volatility. Volition. Oh, there we go. We continued the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently let go of the paper, letting it flutter over to her as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds you, c reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but. She also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into her, your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Yuri may, remains, ah, Yuri remains silent for a moment, but the young swag, <laughs> that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Um, that's so embarrassing that you think like that. W wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a lot of motherfucking reading, man. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about it. About that sort of thing. I guess I'm more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah. <laughs> what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. Oh, finally. Shit, I was about to say, wh why is this taking so long? We're, we've been chit-chatting for a minute now. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. <laughs> is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm, in that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own time. Alright. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then I slip it back into my bag. By the way, didn't you remember, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My reactions, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now everyone's ready. Why don't you find someone to share it with? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Sayora, Sayori, <clears throat> Sayora, Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's, Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn, of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. <laughs> on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Go ahead and show it to Yuri. But I don't know, you're def we're definitely going to like piss somebody off because we're showing Yuri so much attention, but our poem's about her. So if we show it to Natsuki, she's definitely going to be offended because she's into cutesy shit and our poem ain't that cute. So it's either Monica or Natsuki. 
I mean, not Monica or Natsu. It's either Monica or Yuri. Let's go with Yuri again. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. Bet. I could trust her opinion, to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh. What was that? <laughs> D did I say that out loud? Yuri's first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. <laughs> ah, she's thinking he's gonna hate me. Ah. <laughs> you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. You like the goddamn poem, man. We wrote it for you, cuz. <laughs> That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. That's actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. <laughs> well, I know that. I just meant... <laughs> Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. <laughs> it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually t uh, typical of new writers. <laughs> no, shut your ass up, man. Shut up. <laughs> I have... <laughs> And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both style and the expressiveness are weakened. Yuri finds her train of thought. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. <laughs> There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. <laughs> not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all of it, all of it comes, for, uh, comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. <laughs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. <laughs> Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay. Ghost Under the Light. This handwriting, okay. Click outside the poem area to continue. Okay, so. <clears throat> Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm breathing air of the present but living in the past the light flickers i flicker back ah it's a love poem yeah it's a love poem the metaphors are there fam <laughs> i'm i'm sorry i have such terrible handwriting yeah shit man you gotta work on that goddamn shit man it was chicken scratch what i wasn't thinking that at all <laughs> but it took you a long time to read ah well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. I didn't say that. That's not me. I didn't say that. <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? Hoo-hoo, actually, what? Uh-huh, what? Uh-huh, is it that? Was that what you said? I don't know. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, young swag. Really? It's about me and you, shouty? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance after it, over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symb symbolic symbically, symbolically 
compare it to a ghost. Lingering in her last rema uh, remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. <laughs> Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, young swag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, shit. All right. <laughs> Me too. Okay, who shall I show my poem to next? We're going to go with Monica, because Natsuki's definitely going to be the last. So, let's do Monica. She seems strong. Grr. Stronger. What's up, young swag? Having a good time so far? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up, to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Like, what the fuck? I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, young swag. <laughs> We're all a little bit embarrassed today, you know? <laughs> but that's the sort of barrier that we'll have to go to learn to get past soon. Okay, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, young Shui. <laughs> I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it's always it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> uh -huh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imaginary uh, imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. That's what's up. That's why I like Yuri per, uh, personally, because I feel like she has that same type of train of thought. Which is cool, because it's cool to take your own depiction from people's art or writings or whatever the fuck you're expressing through. It's good to leave an opening for somebody else to, you know, make their own depictions of. I think that's awesome. Yeah, so that's why we went for Yuri. Anyway, so it's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. <laughs> Don't worry so much about that. <laughs> you do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. <laughs> it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love seeing you try. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find uh, the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh -huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It could have been me. See the direction? Uh, wait, see? The direction the sparkle protrude? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I, I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. <clears throat> but it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. I wasn't too bright. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was... Or, I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you think? Hmm, it's a very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for re uh, feedback. 
<laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, when performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inf inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some type of imp epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big a big dark puddle of ink. <clears throat> so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Cool. Okay, so who should I put show my poem to next? Sayori duh. We're not I told you. Natsuki is not getting my poem. <laughs> this is a good poem, young swag. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Heh, <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you just wor that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention, not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room in a <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, young swag. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? <laughs> Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's a part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really, ba I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish, and wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. What? Sayori, this is just a guest, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit, you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forget to do it last night. Well at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. <laughs> I still tried my best. Ah uh, yeah, ah uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds like, it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. Oof, that burp, that was crazy. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. Even though you're a little late, to, even though you're late to school, <laughs> it's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write my best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Natsuki. Okay, let's go. She's not gonna like my shit. At all. Young Swag, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. <laughs> what? <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> What, you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort. <laughs> we all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. She's like, Ugh, he's on to me. <laughs> Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. <laughs> this shit's short. <laughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. 
horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Shit suck! I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I, I like it. Yeah, it's great. Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't take don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of, point of poems to, for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Or I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring you out of the feeling in that last line. Oh, oh it helps bring out the feeling in that last line. That's actually kind of clever. <laughs> I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. Get your cocky ass on somewhere. I'm glad you learned something. <clears throat> didn't expect from didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Ah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. All right, guys, we're going home. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. <laughs> this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess it's... I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happy ch happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? <laughs> um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. <laughs> I guess you could say it's fancy. <laughs> Yours is cute. Cute? <laughs> Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can it be that cute? How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really, it really didn't come out that nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, <laughs> I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And the young swag did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some, some suggestions on my own. Okay, now you're tripping. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Nah. <laughs> and the young swag like my poem too, you know. <laughs> okay, this is getting nuts. Everybody relax, okay? I'm just, just good old James, man, you know, the good old young swag, man, I'm just here. He even told me that he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, she's pissed. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... You... you you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that the young swag appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh no! This is getting wacky! How do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. <laughs> if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh no, Yuri, why are you being like, being like that, girl? <sighs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? <laughs> I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as the young swag showed up. <laughs> Yo, this is getting crazy. I'm just here, bro. Like, I'm just trying to pass some time, fam. <laughs> Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... <laughs> this doesn't involve you. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't like fighting, guys. <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Young Swag! <laughs> she... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your own po your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, young swag. Wait, there's a reason we have to we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. <laughs> it's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning to them the most effectively. <laughs> Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. And you understand that, right, swag? <laughs> Well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? <clears throat> well, it's not like I knew anything about writing. <laughs> but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Fucking fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is getting... Oh, it's a little hot in here now. Like, okay. <clears throat> well, we already set out to oppress y impress Yuri. We didn't give a damn about Natsuki to begin with because she seems like a dick. So... So of course that's going to be Sayori is just a uh, everybody can just chill type of person. So I'm going to go with I'll go with Yuri. Fuck. All right. We're about to figure out the it does if it costs if our if our decisions and and everything if all that shit costs, we're about to figure it out right now. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, <clears throat> I understand. Yuri? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. W well that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. So, okay, we're handling this like a boss, okay. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. You... But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> it was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you shouldn't, that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should too? <clears throat> Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, and at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Ah, shit. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to walk away and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? <laughs> I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Oh, oh my god. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. And her on her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Oh. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in, in, a, a, in an adjacent chair. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, young swag. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as a part of this club now. <laughs> eh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything. I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh. What thing did Natsuki say? Um, but never mind that. I'm going to, I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a little awkward, but it's okay. This this is this is full of awkward moments. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. <laughs> the Young Swag, how about you? 
Yeah, I'd say the same. <laughs> it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow, and maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least try to do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with the newfound determination. Young Swag, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. I truly, It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. <laughs> Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? I know, <clears throat> I know between Natsuri, oh, you know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. <laughs> I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Young Swag, <laughs> it's nice I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's... Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone's nice, but does it really need to stop there? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. <laughs> I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. I'm thinking this is a good place to put a pin in it right now. I'm really curious as to how our decision to pursue Yuri is going to negatively affect the other girls, because that's heavily implied. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. And like I always say, I'll see you guys later. Peace! Go.